So recently we had a birthday celebration here for one of our producers who will not eat sugar, pretty much only eat sticks and roots. So what do you do? How do you bake a birthday cake? Well, you don't. You have to get creative, and that's exactly what I did. I went and I picked up a pallet of wheatgrass and basically filled it with all kinds of goodies. Take a look at the finished product because I'm not going to have time to finish this all today, but I want you to see what it looked like when we um, delivered it on Monday. That is just a beautiful palette of wheatgrass with all kinds of fresh vegetables and fruits, uh, pretty much just stuck inside of it. That's all I really did. This next picture is just kind of when I was at home and it was kind of in progress, but just fill a palette of wheatgrass with, with all the nutritious and healthy stuff that um, um, your friend likes. So that's just another shot of just how it went in progress. And you can create any kind of design that you like, okay? This is how you actually transport it when it's all said and done. You want to keep your palette uh, moist and, and covered. I covered it with wet paper towels to make sure that it stayed nice and fresh. If you can't put it in a refrigerator, you got to be able to do something to keep it cool. Here's another thing. Here's a tip right here. This pallet right here, it's on top of just a cookie sheet, and I just put a wet paper towel underneath it because, look, that's where all the roots are to the wheatgrass. Okay, so how do you create your, your color and your flora? So here's what you want to do. You want to think about color. Think about all the different vegetables and the different fruits. And just, I mean, obviously you want to get stuff that you like, but think about color. I use, you, I've used kale before, but you can use radicchio, you could use um, any kind of leafy, colorful leafy vegetable, and I just kind of went with a flower theme, and all I did was just stuck the, the leaves in just like that, the purple kale I used um, for Margot's, which looked really, really pretty, and just don't forget, this is all fresh, this is all stuff that you could eat, so I just kind of created a little flower right here, here's my grass center, just like that, here's my my leaves on my flower, and then what you want to do is I, I picked up a bell pepper, and when you cut up your bell pepper, it's going to look like this, I just cleaned it out, and when you slice it, it, it almost slices open, you know, like a flower. But what you want to do is you want to create bite-sized pieces. So I just went ahead and sliced them all up, and those come in the center of my flower. And keeping in mind that whatever you are putting inside of your little garden here, I guess we'll just call it, your wheatgrass garden, um, you want to make them bite-sized pieces. You want people, you want it to be beautiful and visual. But people pull it out, they need to be bite-sized pieces. So when you're doing broccoli or something like that or cauliflower, I have a big piece like this, try and keep the stems kind of of the stalk long, but then still cut them up into bite-sized pieces so that the long pieces will stick inside your flower. But as guests pull them out, they're still small enough to eat and dip, okay? So it just turns into, it just looks terrible right now, but when it's finished, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You can also use fruits over here. You can cut up some fruits and add some fruits. Again, think about color. And then I got this recipe from Margo, our producer, and it is also a vegan bean dip, and it's cannelli beans, some um, garlic, lemon, red pepper, salt, olive oil, and um, I use basil. She likes sage. I accidentally used bay leaves, but it all tasted good. <laughs> doesn't matter what you put in it. Anyway, I have the recipe and all of the tips on our website, SonoranLiving.com. It really did look better yesterday or Monday, don't you think, Susan? Well, the pictures were great, and we're still eating on that. It doesn't matter how it looks. It tastes delicious.